and welcome to all of our gold viewers who are here with us today. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and one of the MCs here at Gold. And I'm here today with Barbara Robertson. Hi, Barbara. It's good to have you back here at Gold. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here, Kristen. Wonderful to have you back. You are, of course, one of our speakers for the A Gold Lactation Online Conference of 2023, which is really exciting. It's just around the corner. We get started on April 3rd with our opening keynote. But before we jump into that, really, first of all, Barbara, you've been with us before. I've presented at Gold uh, a few times, so it's uh, wonderful to have you back. For our viewers who are not yet familiar with you, first of all, where in the world are you? Huh. I am <laughs> in Ann Arbor, Michigan in the United States. And so Michigan's one of the states you can hold it up. And here I'm about here in our state. <laughs> Wonderful. So, well, thank you for sharing that for our, inter our yeah. international audience. It's always lovely to know where our speakers are from, right? So yeah. let's talk also about your professional background. You have been in the field of lactation for a long, long time. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Well, originally, I started out as an educator. I have a master's in education and curriculum development, and I was an elementary teacher. But then when I had my own children, I didn't want to go back to work full time. And because of my own breastfeeding journeys, I became very interested in helping in lactation. And I became a peer-to-peer -peer support leader in 1998. And then, oh my goodness, that was so long ago. And then <laughs> I became an IBIS CLC in 2004. And I started developing trainings for other IBIS CLCs and aspiring IBIS CLCs. And that's really morphed into a whole career for me that I never anticipated. That's absolutely wonderful. So you're, you know, of course, working with families, but also training other professionals. And you have a, um, a professional book group as well, like you or you or offer that. Talk a little bit about that as well. Well, right now we have three professional book groups. We have um, Supporting Sucking Skills with Kathy Watson Jenna, Making More Milk um, with Lisa Morasco. And then for spring 2023, we also have Breastfeeding Answers Second Edition with Nancy Moorbacher. And so this, this came from the pandemic when I think I was lonely and others were lonely and mm -hmm. I love to read and I love book groups. And so as those new books came out, I was like, let's do a book group. And people have been loving the format and we've been just really going forward with it. And we have a couple new groups that we're hoping to start soon. Oh, wonderful. So if anybody wants to join in into these uh, book groups, how can they reach you? So we have our new website um, that was launched in June 2022, Lacta Learning. Basically, I outgrew my mm -hmm. first business, the Breastfeeding Center of Ann Arbor. And now that business just is for supporting families. And so our professional trainings have all moved to lactalearning.com. And so you can find our 95-hour courses there. You can find our short courses there. We have a bunch of new recertification courses there. And our book groups are there as well. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. Now yeah. let's jump into here, the lactation conference. That's what we're all yeah. here for, right? Uh, your topic is the milk sharing and milk banking, uh, building yeah. knowledge for better outcomes. So talk about that. How did you uh, mm -hmm. uh, decide to come up with this topic here for this conference in 2023 yeah. for us? So a friend of mine and I became very interested in milk banking in the early 2000s. And in 2007, we were like, we are going to open a milk bank here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Mm -hmm. So we flew ourselves to Washington, D.C. to attend the International Milk Banking Association Conference. We discovered there, unfortunately, that two mm -hmm. IBCLCs cannot open a milk bank by themselves. And mm -hmm. so um, we learned an awful lot about the process, but we didn't have the right players in place, in particular, a neonatologist. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't open a milk bank here in Ann Arbor at that time, but we both were just so interested. And I've continued to stay abreast with the, situ the information because I do think that using donor human milk in the hospitals for our fragile babies is critical. And also in my area, we have a lot of milk sharing. Okay. And so I just really feel like it's my responsibility to stay um, up to date on this information and share it with others. 
Yes, um, very interesting, um, important topic, milk banking, you know, we need the milk in the NICUs and you, you brought yeah. up a very important point there. So tell me, that's interesting. You mentioned milk sharing in your, it's very popular in your area. Can you talk about that a little bit? So, you know, when I first started my work, the internet was really just up and coming. And mm -hmm. so you might have like at a peer to peer support group meeting, one parent saying to another, Oh, I have extra milk. I hear you're a little shy on milk. Do you want to share our milk? And, you know, then they could decide yes or no. But with the advent of the internet, it's just really taken off in right. ways that I don't think we thought about. Mm -hmm. And so um, the idea that can we share our milk is a very interesting one. And I think that we have to think about, well, how safe is the formula? Mm -hmm. So discussing the risks and benefits of milk sharing with our clients, I think is really important and truly understanding what are those risks and benefits. Yeah. Um, to be able to have our families have the most accurate information. Absolutely. And uh, that's key because having the most accurate information, as you mentioned, the internet is a wonderful place for connecting people for information, but it's also a dangerous place because a lot of misinformation as exactly. well. So exactly. we want to make sure as, as professionals out there in the field that our families get really the information that's accurate, correct, and, and really so they can make an informed decision what works best for them and their families, right? Exactly. I do not broker milk. I do not, you know, I'm not passing it from one person to another, but my families come in using it already, or mm -hmm. they tell me they're going to be using it. And so it is really important that I understand, um, again, how to make it as safe as possible. Absolutely. Um, Barbara, before I let you go, do you have any last wise words for us here, a little nugget of wisdom, what you're hoping our viewers will take home with them after watching the presentation? I think that the it's just human milk is so important for human babies. Mm -hmm. And we are really happy that we have artificial baby milk formula that is available to keep babies alive. But in order for babies to really thrive and, and kind of be their healthiest, if we can get them human milk, we need to think about that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just something that I feel like is really crucial. And again, helping families negotiate either finding donor milk or exploring the idea of milk sharing. Um, and again, thinking about what is the best choice for their family, making sure families know their options. Yeah, knowing their options. And that is so important because many families don't even know they have options, yeah. right? Has that, I mean, you've probably seen that many, many times that many people are like, oh, I didn't even know about it or didn't know about it with their first baby. And then, you know, maybe found out later and, and was thinking, oh, goodness, why didn't I have that knowledge beforehand? Exactly. You know, having these options is so, so important for these families. Right? Yes. Well, Barbara, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure sitting down here with you and chatting and talking about the wonderful work you're doing in your community and, yeah. and Michigan and, you know, uh, worldwide here for us at Gold with your presentation. We are so looking forward to having you again this year at the conference. Well, thank you again for the opportunity to share this information and be part of the Gold family. Always love it. <laughs> and for our viewers now, this presentation will be live on April 24th. It depends, of course, where you are in the world and what your time zone is. But if you would like to find out more about this presentation and all the other presentations of the uh, Gold Conference here, the Gold Lactation Online Conference of 2023, I'll invite you to go to goldlactation.com for all the information there. And as I mentioned, we get started on April 3rd with our opening keynote presentation. That uh, presentation is open access, free of charge. Um, and open access to everyone. So make sure you sign up for that and share that with your colleagues in the field as well. And I hope to see everyone at the conference. I can't wait. Thank you again, Barbara, and bye-bye to everyone out here. Bye-bye.